Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a logarithmic equation with two different bases. We have log x with base 5 and log 25 with base x, and they're equal. And we're going to solve for x. I'll be presenting three methods and then show you a graph at the end. Let's start with the first method. For my first method, I'm going to set both of these equal to another variable. So let's go ahead and set both of these equal to y. And now from here we're going to get the following by using definition of logarithms, of course. We're going to start at the base, 5, and then go to y. So write it as 5 to the power y equals x. That is my first equation. And my second equation is going to give me x to the power y equals 25. Very easy. Just look it up. Look up the definition of logs and you're going to get it. It's really easy and very helpful. So now we have these two equations. So that kind of turns into a system, right? Which makes sense because we have two variables. So one thing we can do here is substitution, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and take this 5 to the power y equals x and substitute here because we have an x, right? So we can replace x with 5 to the power y. And then that gives us 5 to the power y to the power y equals 25. And the rest is easy, but let's do it. y times y is y squared, so we can write this as 5 to the power y squared equals 25. But 25 can be written as 5 to the second power, right? So now we have an equality and the bases are equal. What is that supposed to mean? It means the exponents are equal. So we have y squared equals 2. But y squared equals 2 gives you two results, two solutions. y equals square root of 2 and y equals the opposite of square root of 2 or negative square root of 2. But we're not looking for y and don't ask why. We're looking for x. So how do you find x? We know that x and y are related by this equation. 5 to the power y equals x. So x is the same as 5 to the power y. So if y is equal to square root of 2, then x is either 5 to the power square root of 2 or x is 5 to the power negative square root of 2. Basically, there are two solutions to this equation. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the second method. For my second method, I want to do something different. So I want to change the method. And I'd like to use change of base. Change of base is also a very cool formula. Uh, you can basically, if you have the log of something, you can turn it into a quotient uh, with whatever base you want. So let's go ahead and see how that works. Log x with base 5. I can write it as log x over log 5, right? And log 25 at base x, I can write it as log 25 over log x. So as long as you write this number at the bottom and the other at the top, you're good. That's how the formula works. Make sense? I hope it does. Okay, so now we're going to do the following. Since these two expressions are equal, we're going to set them equal to each other. Let's do it. So we have log x over log 5 equals log 25 over log x. And from here we can do cross multiplication. Log x times log x is going to give us log x squared. And then what about log 5 times log 125? Is that, did I say 125? I'm ahead of myself. I was going to say log 25. And is that equal to log 125? No. You can't just multiply logs that, like that. You can log a product, but the product of logs doesn't really make much sense, unless you can convert one to another. And in this case, we can do the following. We can write log 25 as log 5 squared. And so let me do it here so I don't have to log 5 squared. And that is 2 log 5 by using the power property. So we can write this as 2 log 5 log 25 can be written as 2 log 5. And when you multiply log 5 by 2 log 5, you get the following. 2 times log 5 squared. 
So we kind of have squares on both sides. Two is not a perfect square, but guess what? We can take the square root and use the absolute value. So this is going to give us two results. From here, either log x is equal to square root of 2 log 5, which can be written as log 5 to the power of square root of 2 because this power can be moved back, right? Power rule works both ways. And now we have log x equals this, so x equals 5 root 2. Or if log x is equal to negative root 2 log 5, because if you square both sides, you're going to get the, the this equation right here. That's why they're equivalent. And here we're going to get log 5 to the power of negative root 2. And since logs are equal, that means x equals 5 to the power of negative root 2. As before, remember, we got the same results, right? But just in a different way. So these are the solutions using the second method. Let's go ahead and talk about the third method. So for the first method, we basically use substitution. For the second method, we use change of base. And for the third method, we're going to use the reciprocal rule. Yay. The reciprocal rule works like this. If you have log b with, a, b with base a, then it is just, it can be written as 1 over log a with base b. Make sense? That's what we're going to use. So let's go ahead and do the following. Log 25 with base x can be written as log 5 squared. And then that is 2 times log 5. Of course, uh, we're talking about base x here. And then that is equal to log x. Because why? These two are equal. That's given, right? So now these two are equal, which is kind of cool because we can use the reciprocal property. Which one should we flip? I want to flip the first one, this one. So let's write it as 2 over log x with base 5. And that is equal to the same thing. I mean, not the same thing, but you get the idea. Now, we can go ahead and cross multiply here, and that's going to give us a perfect square. Perfect. Log x with base 5 squared equals 2, and this is going to give us two results, right? Log x is root 2, or log x is negative root 2. And as before, we have the base 5, so we're going to use it as a base, and from here, x is going to be 5 to the power root 2, or... 5 to the power negative root 2. As before, same thing, same idea, same problem. Not necessarily the same idea, but you get the idea, hopefully, right? We're just using different methods. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and um, see how the two graphs intersect. Now we're going to wrap it up. So, I graphed both of these functions for you. Well, Desmos did it for me, but I just included a screenshot here. Log x with base 5 and log 25 with base x. I mean, the blue one, log x is fairly straightforward. You know the log, hopefully, right? ln log, it doesn't matter. They're very similar. But the other one is kind of interesting because it has two pieces. Why? Let me explain real quick. Uh, x cannot be 1, obviously. It's not allowed. And x has to be, of course, greater than 0. So that kind of gives you two intervals. x is either between 0 and 1 or greater than 1. That's why you don't see the whole graph. Like if you go up, you're going to see that there's a actually, um, what is it called? Vertical asymptote at x equals 1. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.